This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Couple questions here about Memphis. Uh, I know you don't probably remember a ton about Memphis, but let's take a stab at it. The man of the '90s says, "What are Kurt's memories of working with legendary Memphis wrestling announcer Dave Brown in Power Pro Wrestling?" Dave was a legend. He, you know, he's a big name down there, and uh, I think he interviewed me once. Um, you know, I I actually enjoyed him. He he was a great great commentary commentator. He was really good at his job. He. He deserved it. He was, he, he's a legend down there. He absolutely is. One more about Memphis. Does Kurt remember working with sensational Steve Bradley in Memphis? I thought he could have been the WWF's answer to a Rob Van Dam type, but for whatever reason, it never worked out. Steve is the reason I became so good so fast. Really? When I tried out for WWE, he was there at the camp and they, they glued me to his hip for six months. That's all I did was train with Steve and work with Steve. He taught me everything. And I knew he was going to make it big. I knew he was going to be the next Rob Van Dam. Uh, maybe even a l little more, um, I guess, versatile than Rob uh, as far as his promo skills and everything. Rob was good too. Don't get me wrong. Rob was exceptional. But Steve was very, very talented. And uh I'm surprised he didn't make it. But what happened, I think, was he went to OVW and um, they were thinking about putting him on TV. They came up with a character that was a college student. They wanted him to be because he was so young. So they wanted him to be like a dumbass college student. That's what they were going to start with him. And then they asked him to go to Puerto Rico for a while, I guess, for a favor for somebody down there. And they forgot about him for a few years. And then uh, I think Bruce brought him back to OVW and things just fizzled out. And I'm just surprised and shocked that Steve Bradley didn't make it big. He was the reason I made it in the company. And I think that his talents would, uh, people would absolutely love them. He passed away, I think, 14 or 15 years ago. And uh, it's unfortunate. Yeah, I think he passed away in 08. But even when you went in the Hall of Fame, I think on stage, you called him an unsung hero in your career, right? Yes, yes, and he was. He, I, I had to thank him, especially him being up in heaven. With the good Lord, I, I'm very grateful for what he did for me. That's a good story, man. I'm glad we got to do that one. Frank, Jay wants to know, who are some of your all-time favorite tag team partners and why? My favorite was Chris Benoit uh, because he matched my intensity. He was the uh, same type of wrestler I was, a technician, I thought we met, we had great chemistry as a team and, and as opponents, but I really enjoyed uh, being tag team with Chris. I thought we could have done it a lot more. WrestleManiac wants to know, what did Kurt think of Paul Heyman as the executive director of Raw compared to the others who've been in that role? I love Paul Heyman. I think that anytime you have him in the business, it's always a good move. I think he came up with great ideas and concepts. Uh, I wasn't against it. I, I think that Paul Heyman, what he was able to do for ECW, proved that he deserved that type of job, and I think he did really well with it. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.